I'll call the three. And raise two. I think you're bluffing, Professor. Three lucky sevens and a Johnny High. <laughs> full boat. Three fours and two twos. I think a full house takes it. Excuse me. Hey, Professor, where are you going? You owe me 25000 I never stiffed you before. I'm going to make a phone call, OK? Ah. I'll be here, waiting. Roman, oh, thank God. Thank you for coming. Well, I should make up. Bad luck tonight, huh? Don't worry. Luck is like the weather, Matthew. Unpredictable. How much? Uh, 25,000. How am I going to make it up to you, Roman? Don't worry. We are friends. Remember. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be in this country. How can you put a price on that? I know. I'll make it up to you, I promise, Roman. I will. I'll make it up to you. I know you will. I believe you. <laughs> this place, Matthew, I don't know. Someone in your position should be more careful. In Paris. Okay, this is fun. What do I do now? You be careful, Mona. It's not all fun and games. You'll make contact with our Paris agent, who's a double agent. She'll take you to West Berlin and over the wall. But it's Paris. Don't I get to do a little shopping? Mona, the security of the free world is at stake. All right. Oh, one. Okay, I'm in Berlin now. What do I do? Take a blue card, because you landed on a blue square. Right. Your double agent is a triple agent. You are betrayed. Go back to miscellaneous affairs. Uh, what now? Back to miscellaneous affairs. Oh, what about Paris? Forget Paris. My turn. Mona! I need this, you know. I do all this great work. I end up back in miscellaneous affairs. Well, that's the challenge, Mona, to get out of miscellaneous affairs and stay out. A challenge? I mean, it's impossible, Adderley. Nobody's what they seem to be. Everybody's a traitor. Agents are double agents. Double agents are triple agents. Well, that's life, Mona. What do you think I should call it? Miscellaneous affairs? No. People will think it's an adult party game. It's about espionage, not sex. <laughs> no, my chance for a Paris assignment. Nobody's going to Paris. <laughs> Mr. Green's bad. It's just a game. Now, that's what they always say. Then the next thing you know, budget problems, anarchy, communism. Mr. Green's bad. It's a board game. It's about secret agents. Adelie invented them. Pick a card, Melville. You have been assigned to participate in security arrangements for the NATO ministers' conference. I didn't write that. I know. Major Clack did. Major Clack. In case you haven't heard, the NATO ministers are gathering here for next month's disarmament conference. And what does that have to do with you? I've just been in a high-level strategy session with Major Clack. He's going to throw us into the fray. Oh, oh, that's re that's neat, Mr. Greenspan. What's the assignment? Undercover? Support? Communications. Perk up, Adderley. Now let's get the parcels sorted. Yeah. Communications. What's the matter, VH? Don't you like being back in the field? Ah, uh, Mr. Greenspan, I don't think that's really very funny. That's okay, Mona. Melville has a unique sense of humor. Check that list. Now there's probably a nurse. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir. You're going to have to leave that here. I'm here to see Professor Matthew Carley. I this is an important document for I'll just check your ID against my security list. 
Dijkstra Rudolph. A, B, C, D. You can't wait. Uh, here. Make sure he gets it. I can't seem to find your name, sir. Maybe your list is incomplete. Oh, that's impossible. It's computerized. Can I go for a coffee when I deliver this morning? Oh, V.H., you really think they could manage without us? Adderley, I can't find this man's name on my list. He's obviously a Soviet agent, Malcolm. You better go after him. I will. Cover me. Sir Carling? Oh, he's on the telephone. I'll take it. I work with him. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Security. Well, then you might as well come in and wait. Thank you. Yeah, well, I can't talk now. There's something. I'm Anna Corman, Professor Carling's personal assistant. P.H. Adderley. Having fun at the conference? Oh, yeah. Conventional redeployment, ICBMs, mating habits at the Exocet missile. Well, they are French. <laughs> Professor, this gentleman has a parcel for you. Top secret, I presume? One of your delegates left that at the communications desk. Well, thank you very much. Do I give you a tip? Well, we're not supposed to. Mr. Adderley is part of the ISI security team, Matthew. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. Sure, I'll see you again. Matthew, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. Nothing. That'll be all, thank you. Bye. What is this? They're not important. Matthew, you don't look like you've almost seen a ghost over something that's not important. What do these mean? I came up short in a poker game and I had to borrow some money, that's all. Who is this guy? His name is Roman Walensky and he's a businessman and he helped me out. Why would someone take pictures of a friend lending you money? Matthew, what if he's not who you think he is? Stop. You're a public figure, privy to state secrets. You're not supposed to be gambling. Don't you realize that? I'm not doing anything wrong. We have to call security and let them decide. They don't have to know. They do have to know. If you're right and this leaks out, I could be ruined. Please. There's a lot more at stake here than just your career. Can't you go any faster? He's turning, he's turning left here, left, left. Well, you see these? These are called eyes. I got two of them. Means I can see. Yeah, but we're gonna lose him. The light is red. Red means stop. Green means go. Yellow means the... Oh, well, for God's sake, the security of the entire Western world might depend on this. Now turn! Oh, good go! Why'd you say so? What is this place? Consul of the Bulgarian People's Republic. Shh, let's get back to the hotel. Hi, Mr. Green, 
Mr. Fagg was just figuring out the next move in this game here. Well, who was he? A Soviet agent. That's good. I followed him to the Bulgarian consulate. That's good. Roll the dice. Follow agent to Bulgarian embassy. Oh, well. Take a reward card, Nova. Adderley, this is not a game. I know, I know. Let's take a card. Congratulations, you have uncovered a foreign agent. You received special commendation from your superior. Move up one tier. Wow. Adderley, the man that I followed brought an envelope in here. The one I took to Matthew Carling? Yes. Mona, we gotta find out what was in that envelope. What? How are we going to do that? Please, Danger. please, enough, enough. Old-fashioned legwork, Malville. I'll take Carling. I don't want to hear about it when I come back. You stay with the girl. Right, I'll stay with the girl. People I work for would like to know what NATO's plans are regarding the redeployment of their strategic missiles in Europe. You bastard, you're a Soviet agent? Ah! What makes you think I'd give you anything? Because, my dear Dr. Carl, you need him. I'm no traitor. Don't call yourself a traitor. Call yourself a man who has money problems. Don't worry. You will be well paid. Everything is okay. <laughs> well, good. Yeah. I still can't help wondering why you resent those pictures. You're not going to believe this. It was all a misunderstanding. Walensky said he'd take care of everything, and that's it. <laughs> it's over. I told you. And you trust this Walensky? Oh, I mean, yes. How well do you know him? Enough. We got a lot of work to do. Hmm? Matthew, are you lying to me? Mr. Adderley, I'm afraid there's been a leak. Major Clack, Anna Corman. I know who she is. Who else knows? Besides her, no one. Keep it that way. Are you going to let him run free for a while, Major? Adderley, you must remember there's nothing like fresh live bait to catch a fish, sometimes a whole school of fish. Intelligence must have known about his gambling. We know. But someone in the apparatus decided it wasn't a problem. Major, please, at least give him a chance to tell you what this is all about. He's in over his head. He'll do anything to protect himself. We can't take that risk. He's finished. I agree with her, Major. He hasn't done us any harm, and he might be useful. Adderley, forget it. We're putting a new plan in the works. Well, let's just... Just drop it, Adderley. Uh, Major, do you think I could be involved in this operation? After all, if it wasn't... I have people who know how to handle these things, Melville. But if it wasn't for me... I'm not going to argue with you. If you want to oversee things, that's fine. But stay out of the operation. Now, Foreign Service tells me Miss Corman will be taking Carling's place at the conference. I'll inform the appropriate authority. Let me tell Matthew. I owe him. This is more serious than you think. Miss Corman, 
He's in our hands now. You don't tell him anything. Now, if you'll come with me, we'll debrief you and get this operation underway. Wait, do you think I should come along and oversee, Major? I'm sure you can do that from here, Melville. Yes, sir. Uh, but how, how am I always supposed to oversee? We'll read some books on the subject. Oh, you great requisitions. Adderley, you stay out of this. Who is it? D.H. Adderley, Dr. Carlin. What do you want? Well, I'd like to talk to you. I'm very tired. Can you please go away? It's important. It's a little late for mail, isn't it? What's miscellaneous affairs? A friend in need. All right. Come on in. You want a drink? I'm just going to have one. No. Looks like you've already had a couple. ISI knows all about Walensky. I don't know what you're talking about. We know he's a Soviet agent. We know everything. She told you? Yeah. She had to. For your own protection. You here to arrest me? No. I'm here to help you. Look. Adderley, I want you to know this. I have given them nothing. I know. I was in the park this evening. Why me? Is there anyone else around here with a little secret or... They spend a long time selecting their targets. They probably picked you when you were doing your doctoral thesis on conventional warfare and spending your vacations in Las Vegas. Then they just sat back and waited. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Major Clack is going to ask you to help set up a trap for Walensky. Why should I? Is that going to save my career? No. But it'll keep you out of prison. Out of prison? That's it? Not necessarily. I don't understand. Well, let me put it in terms that you might. He's going to play his cards one way. You're going to help me play them another. There's more to this. I know someone's out there trying to set you up. As Clack says, there's always one more layer to deception. Now, we don't know what that is, but we're going to find out. I'm glad you got me to requisition these binoculars, Adderley. But this looks dangerous. Are you sure that Major Clack meant for me to be this close to the field? Us, Melville. Us, Melville. And yes, he did. How else can you oversee an operation? From my desk at Miscellaneous Affairs. What do you see? Um, two joggers. A woman with a baby carriage. Um, two men on a bench. They're all ours. One of the guys on the bench is Clack. Oh, good. Are there any others? Well, I don't know about the squirrels. Wait a minute. Here we go. You have it? Yeah. What? It's the agenda for tomorrow's sessions. Good. Any trouble? No. no. I didn't think they would be. They trust you completely. So do I. I gotta go. They're gonna miss me if I'm not back. Matthew, this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. That son of a bitch. Now he's stealing our culture. to stay in the car, Major, but you know him. Shut up, Melville. Yes, Get him out of here. Oh, diplomatic immunity. I demand that my embassy be informed of this outrageous fortune. I thought you were supposed to stay out of this operation. 
Uh, Major, I just got out of my car when this guy appeared out of nowhere. Just get back to your hotel room where you belong. Should we stay there and oversee, sir? We did it, Adelaide. We did it. <laughs> Remember what I said? Planning, 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 planning. No, Melville. But, but, something's wrong. It was too easy. It was all too easy. Now, come on, what do you mean, too easy? Mona, where'd you put those scissors? <laughs> Where they belong. OK, look at this. What do you think? Oh, it's nice, Mona, but shouldn't there be something in it? <laughs> it's for Mr. Greenspan's medal. What medal? For capturing the nefarious Soviet agent. Major Clack is on his way down right now. Where is it? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, God. Is it too big? No. God. That is, Melville. On behalf of ISI, I'm pleased to commend Melville M. Greenspan of the Department of Miscellaneous Affairs for diligence and bravery in the field of action. Good work, Melville. Well, uh, what about the medal? This is the Secret Service, Melville. We don't advertise. Adderley, you missed the ceremony. I'll catch it on the 6.30 news, Major. I hope that's not bitterness in your voice, Adderley. What's this? Uh. Your superior wants you to pursue a dangerous undercover assignment unofficially. Officially, you're not involved. Move back three spaces. It'll never sell. It's no good, guys. Major, you took this off the bottom of the deck. Since when do you play espionage games by the rules? Major. Can we talk and stop playing the game? What's bothering you? The Walensky affair. He's already back in Moscow, diplomatic immunity. You know the rules. Yeah. It's amazing how Melville caught him single-handed, isn't it? Indeed. Noticing the false ID, realizing he wasn't on the list. Trailing him right across town without being seen, right to the Bulgarian consulate. Fine work. Yeah. And just like that, Roman Walensky, KGB operative for 20 years, is caught by Melville Greenspan. Well, maybe we should give him a medal. Oh, no, Major. We should give it to Walensky for best performance by a foreign agent in a double role. Meaning? Walensky would never have got caught unless he wanted to. It's not only illogical, it's impossible. Every dog has his day, Adderley. Oh, by the way, it's official. Anna Corman is taking over for Carling. Make sure you rewrite his mail when you get back to the hotel. Oh, and uh, stop trying to second guess this case. You're starting to sound paranoid. When you stop being paranoid, Major, that's when they get you. Shouldn't there be a picture in there, Miss Ellerby? Well, that was for my... Better take it down, Mona. Tough luck, Melville. Such a nice frame, too. Yes, it's me. Proceed with caution to the next stage. Thank you for bringing me these files, Adderley. I've got my work cut out for me stepping into Matthew's job at a time like this. Well, I'm sure you can handle it. At least your surroundings have improved. And if there's anything that I can do... What will happen to him? Well, he'll be interrogated. But because he cooperated, he'll get off. And sooner or later, he'll write a book and make a million bucks. Then we'll see the miniseries on TV, hopefully the late, late show. Did you know he had a gambling problem? I didn't know it was a problem. I assumed playing cards was what he did to relax. We're all under a lot of pressure, you know. Yeah, well, too bad he didn't find a more productive way of releasing his tension. So what's your method? Me? Oh. I drive Greenspan crazy. 
What do you do? I get a weekly massage at a private clinic. It helps me relax and solves a lower back problem I have. Something serious? No, my third lumbar is just out of whack. Third? Let me try something. Wait a minute, what are you going to do? I learned this from a Japanese lady, and she was a wonderful teacher. <clears throat> of what? Oh, sh trust me, it won't hurt. Is this standard security procedure? Oh, no, this is special services. Um, lie down. <laughs> Over here. Right here. Okay. Third lumbar. How's that feel? You have a nice touch. Oh, yeah, that's what the Japanese lady said. <laughs> what else did she teach you? Oh, macroeconomics, theories of Japanese corporate structure, you know, the usual stuff. <clears throat> oh, how does that feel? Better. Yeah. I still have to see my masseur, though. Well, no offense. No, I'm just doing my bit for disarmament. <laughs> Well, thank you. I won't hold you up. See ya. Corman's about as clean as they come. How long has she been going to this masseur? Quite a while. Poor woman must be in terrible pain. There's nothing wrong with her back, Mona. Yeah, there is. There is. I saw it. It's right, you know, look. It's right there, right just below the scholastic records. I gave her a massage. Is this a new part of the male servants? No. Oh. But if there's something wrong with her back, she would have gone to the ceiling when I bent her leg. Okay, no, I, won't, I mean, no big deal. I won't even ask them. I don't know what you were doing. Bending your leg doesn't matter. Could care less. But she's still going to a masseur. It's not for a back rub, it's for something else. What? That's what you're going to find out. She's got an appointment at 3 o'clock. So do you. Oh, you. What? I'm getting a massage? And anything else you can pick up. Get your coat, I'll get the car. Where's Adderley? He's supposed to be at the hotel manning the desk. Yeah, he's just he's just gonna drop me off, Mr. Greenspan, and then he's gonna um man the desk. You are in mortal danger. A deep cover agent is about to eliminate you. Move down two tiers. Mona, I'm in mortal danger. It's only a game, Mr. Greenspan. You're probably right. This card was meant for Adderley. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm uh, Miss Ellerby. I have a three o'clock appointment. Oh, I'll be right with you. I'm just finishing off someone else. Just take off your towel and pick a table. Take off my towel. Take off. What? Do it just like that? You do want a massage. Well, yeah, but I mean, couldn't I sort of um, hang around a bit? You know, maybe if I hung around, I'd start to feel like a little more comfortable because I'm not used to being naked. I mean, being places without my clothes on. Is this your first time? Yeah. Some of my friends thought it might sort of help me relax, you know. Loosen up a bit. Well, relaxing's what it's all about. So do whatever makes you relax. Relax, right. Relax. Bye. Who was that? Another client. I'll be glad when this job's over. This is the dumbest cover I've ever had. Just check the slides, and then you can get out to her. She'll probably want me to wear gloves and a mask. Good definition. You've been practicing. It's easier when you can take your time. 
Any trouble getting into the files? None at all. What about this guy, Adderley? Doesn't suspect anything. If he does, I'll take care of him. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Okay, Miss Ellerby, it's your turn. Miss Ellerby. I guess she got cold feet. Yes, sir, we'll get them delivered just as soon as we can. Yes. Same to you. I'm sorry, commandeered, ISI use only. Where have you? Taking Mona to the massage. And that has taken all afternoon. Look at this mess. I've had to manage all by myself. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's just get the mail rolling. I'll take these. Those are Miss Corman's. It's all I'll... right. I don't mind. I don't want any hanky-panky. Hanky-panky? Melville, have you been reading Mona's novels again? Miss Corman is here on an important mission. Our job is not to distract her, but to service her as best we can. Exactly. Five minutes. Five minutes. At the most. doing here? Delivering the mail. What are you doing? Opening the mail. Adderley? Do you want me to get that or should you? Adderley, I want you out here right now. You have been gone six and a half minutes. Service, Melville. Sir. Service. Got to learn how the game is played. How are you? Great. You ever been in prison before? Yeah. Look, the only reason I agreed to give Walensky anything was because you said you'd help me. And this is where I end up. For just a little long. No, I'm out of this place. Walensky was just a decoy to draw us off somebody else. Who? The person that set you up. Anna Corman. Anna Corman. Give me a break. She's the best one on the team. They usually are. She's a spy, Matthew, and now she has your job, which means that when the Warsaw Pact and NATO meet next month, they'll be represented on both sides of the table. Oh, God. Kind of gives them the unfair advantage, wouldn't you say? Why don't you bring her in and get me out of here? No. She's just another layer. Another layer? I don't know what you mean. Well, she's part of the whole apparatus. 
So was Walensky. He set himself up to bust you and put her in position. Clack. Clack. Why don't you go speak to Major Clack? I don't know enough yet. Then the agent who busted Walensky, he can help. Greenspan? No, I think that's the one person we can rule out. No, at this point, I don't trust anybody except you. Why me? Because you're the only victim. This victim is scared. Well, they've dealt the cards. We have to play them. I'm afraid you're going to have to trust me on this. This is when the game gets tricky. University football team. We've been had. I want to know who and how. Now. Yesterday. He says we've been had. What do you think, Adderley? Who else? I gather Control isn't very pleased. <sighs> we've got to get him before he blows this whole thing. Leave it to me. Tonight you meet your nemesis. Only one of you will come out alive. Trust no one. as a speech impediment. Why spread those kinds of things? These internal problems, yeah. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. Adderley. So am I. Well, when you find him, could you send him up to my room? I've just got a little errand for him. Perhaps I could take care of it. Oh, it's not that important. I'm sure he can handle it. Thank you. Adderley? Melville. I have an errand for you. I mean, Anna Corman has an errand for you. In her room. You run it, Melville. I feel a little down, if you know what I mean. No. She asked for you. I want you back here in three minutes. Three minutes? Melville, I'm not as young as I used to be. Three minutes. Hi there. This errand wouldn't be another massage, would it? Why, that's much better, thank you. Oh, good. Sometimes it's all in the head, psychosomatic. I'm sure. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something else. Well, would this be it? 
a proposed deployment of NATO forces in the Ruhr Valley. It's uh, a little overexposed. How did you get those? How did the masseur get them? Don't bother struggling, Mr. Adderley. He has very good hands. Yeah. Adderley! Adderley! I don't care what you're doing in there, Adderley. I want you to come out right now! It's Corman. I'm looking for Adderley, isn't he? Who is that man? You have no authorization. Get over there. Get it. Yes. Yes, he's here. Yes. All right. That was your boss, Major Clack? Don't you mean our boss? Welcome to the party, Major. Natalie, what is this? What are you doing here? I'm not quite sure, Major, but Just I have Here we are, problem. Melville. There might be another medal in this. Natalie, put the gun away. You're making Greenspan nervous. There's been a misunderstanding. No. I don't think so. All right, look. The whole thing was a game, a ruse. These two are from the Foreign Service. They're your colleagues. So was Walensky. It was all just a test of ISI security before the conference. We devised a little game to check out everyone's alertness. We? Major Clark and I. Well, if it was just a game, what about Matthew Carling? Matthew's problem is what made it all work. We knew about his gambling, his debts. In spite of his expertise, we decided to... To remove him from his NATO position and put him into rehabilitation. Yes, and to use him as part of the operation. It was all going rather nicely. Not real nice. Adderley, I assumed our operatives would catch on, but no one did. Except miscellaneous affairs, I suppose congratulations are in order. Now, if there's nothing else... Just one second, Major. Adderley, the game's over. No, it isn't, Major. You've always said that there's always one more layer of deception. Well, that's it. Anna Corman works for the other side. She's the perfect plant. Now, just a minute. She's on our side. No. She photographs secret files and passes them to her friend here. And passed them to me. Oh, I know. I saw you picked them up. But one thing you don't know is that she made a second copy for someone else. He's lying. Major, this is ridiculous. You know I'd never... So, Major, our only choice is to liquidate the double agent. Miss Corman's not a double agent. I'm really pleased you're wrong. If that's the case, Major, I apologize in advance. I don't really know. Now you know how Matthew felt. As you say, Major, always one more layer of deception. The miscellaneous affairs for superior performance in the field of duty. The International Cigar Company of Central America. What do you think you're doing? I assume I've been relieved of my duties. Don't be so melodramatic. Apparently, one thing still puzzles me. When did you figure out it was a game? The minute Melville caught Walensky. Like I said, Major, it's not just illogical, it's impossible. What's going to happen to Matthew? Well, Matthew's been reinstated on a probationary basis. If he gambles again, well... No, I think he's played his last hand. Your superior officer feels threatened by your diligence. Go back to miscellaneous affairs and miss two turns. I didn't write that. I know. 